you've almost certainly learned how to use some basic numbers in Russian. У него два паспорта. У нее три чемодана. Я купил четыре бутылки. But then you might hear someone say, у нас двое детей. У них трое детей. У моего брата четверо детей. Двое, трое, and четверо are a special kind of number called collectives, or собирательные. Собирать means to collect. Actually, there aren't very many of these. We have двое, трое, четверо, пятеро, шестеро, семеро, восьмеро, девятеро. But it's really just these first three, двое, трое, четверо, that are commonly used. For example, in the Russian National Corpus, we find over 15,000 examples of троє, but only 30 examples of девятеро. So let's focus on just these most common ones. You'll hear collectives when talking about groups of people, especially when the noun is not mentioned. Нас было троє. Вышли двоє. Жила в общежитии по троє четверо в комнате. Collectives can also be used when talking about groups of male persons. Двоє рабочих. Четверо мужчин. К нам вновь подошли двоє милиционеров. Collectives can also be used for mixed groups of men and women, or when the genders aren't specified. Вернулись двоє лучших учеников Павла Алексеевича. В этот самый момент к нашему столу подошли двое, мужчина и женщина, и уселись на свободные места. But for groups with only female persons, we use the regular cardinal numbers, not collectives. So, двое мальчиков, but две девушки. We also use collectives with nouns that have only a plural form, like сутки, a 24-hour period. Он приехал на двое суток. Он носил двое часов на одной руке. But there can be some variation where you might hear the word para, a pair, instead of a collective. For example, у командира первой роты две пары часов на руке. We use collectives for things that are made of parts that form a whole, like scissors and pants. Нам нужны двое ножниц. Ты купил одни брюки? Нет, трое. And you might see an ad like this for a suit that comes with two pairs of pants. Костюму прилагаются двое одинаковых брюк. You may have already noticed that when the collective is in the basic form, like двое, трое, четверо, the noun will be in the genitive plural. Рабочих, мужчин, часов, ножниц. At a more advanced level, you'll see these collectives in other cases too, and then the noun does match the collective for case. The good news is that if you know the endings for moi and novi in the plural, then these endings for the collectives will look pretty familiar. We decline collectives when they're referring to animate subjects like people. На митинге троим детям стало плохо. Отец умер, а нас двоими ребятишками осталось. Троим and детям are in the dative, and двоими ребятишками are in the instrumental, all matching up for case. But if we need to decline a number with something that's not animate, like сутки, then we just use the cardinal number. Опять не писала тебе больше двух суток. So we have двух, the genitive of два here. Summing up. Collectives are special numbers often used in certain contexts, groups of male persons, or when gender isn't specified, двое рабочих, with nouns that are always plural, двое ножниц, трое брюк. It's very common to use collectives when talking about children in a family. Двое, троє, четверо дітей. Use the genitive plural of nouns following the basic forms двоє, троє, and четверо. And collective numbers are declined when talking about animate beings like people, and then the following noun will be in the same case. З двоїми дітьми.